This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. Tap, tap, tap. Probably not. Ah, uh, yeah, it's fine. A place to stay. You can say that. Okay, here we are. Wow. And here I thought we were going to invite him to our house. <laughs> Clatter. Oh, no, this is going to be real bad. That doesn't stop you from sleeping, though. Uh, oh, here he is. On the bed, there's a blanket with a lump. Inside it, Sunohara is hugging a pillow and curled up. It kind of seems like he's been sobbing all over the pillow. Oh, poor guy. Hey, wake up. Black. I kick the lump in the blanket. Oh, brother. The hell are you babbling in your sleep? Wake up! Black. Black. Oh, brother. Well, I f feel kind of sorry that I'm probably rubbing salt in your wound, but... Wow. Let this guy stay here for the night. <laughs> He's having trouble finding a place to stay. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Jeez, quit complaining. If you build your affection rate with him here, you might be able to raise some, uh, what are those again? Flags? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, man. Sinohara, are you really going to just leave Kape in the lurch? Why, why does he have to be the one to accommodate? Ah, even though the Yohei Sunohara I knew was supposed to be a hot blooded manly guy. Of course not. Well, just watch. I clear my throat quietly and then look at Sunohara. Aren't you the type of guy who doesn't dwell on the past and treasures the moment more than anything? The type of guy that places himself second and helps those who are in trouble? An outstanding guy who is a prime example of a man? <laughs> wow. This is one of, he's one of the easiest people to manipulate. <laughs> Wow, effortless manipulation. no <laughs> program. This guy is so easy to manipulate. <laughs> wow, yep, Tomoya and I are once again on the same wavelength. Also, it's no problem, not no program. Okay, well, I'll go now. Yeah, there's not really anything more I can do here, right? <laughs> Kape glances at Tsunara. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. This guy's a loser. Even if you were a girl, he wouldn't do a thing to you. <laughs> Not really. I'm saying that you're an honest person. Wow! <laughs> Kape whispers quietly into my ear so that only I can hear it. Wow! Really? <laughs> also, that was a slow fade out. The next day. During lunch break, as I am eating my bread. Oh, yeah, school. That exists. <laughs> Sunohara lets out an irritatingly long sigh. Hmm? Yeah. Yep, that's right. Yeah, 
Dude, he's a guy. Just let it go. Getting your hopes up for what? I wonder if Capay is like is as manly a name in Japan as like I don't know Charles is in America where it's like yeah there are n absolutely no girls named Charles Sinohara sighs deeply once again uh, you're fixing your TV you'll be back later alright well see ya Chris hope to see you again in a bit hope you get your TV fixed he then looks at the sky. Hmm? Yeah. Without saying a word, I start to distance myself from Sunohara. Oh, no. Oh, come on, dude. <laughs> I return an uncaring response as I take a sip from my coffee pack. Oh, come on, dude. あ、朝もそうなんだ。僕の方が先に起きたんだけどさ。Oh, his knees drop to the ground, his hands cover his face and he starts swinging his face left and right. Guess he's finally lost it. Very. Yes, he is a guy. Sunohara, I place my coffee pack on my desk and I lightly tap Sunohara's shoulder and I begin to say with a smile. There are many kinds of love. I'm rooting for you. <laughs> Sunohara's scream echoes through the sunny, brightly lit classroom, causing everyone to stare at him. Pretending I don't know him, I finish the remainder of my coffee. Man, is, is this a thing where, like, ok Okaza Okazaki just accuses people of either being gay or bi or whatever? Wow. Because he told everyone that Kyo was bi. Hmm? The moment I step outside of the school gate, a familiar voice calls out to me. Kape? Yeah, that's right. And what are you doing here? Is your name Shima? For me? Thank me? What did I do? Oh, that. In that case, you should thank Sunohara. Three works too? What does he mean? Uh, you're giving me a present? What? Kape says, and he reaches inside his bag. Then... He takes out a round animal that's shaped like a melon. What? It's... No! It's Botan! He's my bro! But Botan... He's completely exhausted. Don't tell me. At least he's not dead. No! He says briskly with a smile. Oh, Kyo is going to beat the crap out of this guy. I open my eyes wide and look around. If she sees this... Hurry up and wake him up! Otherwise you aren't going to live! <laughs> Alright. Alright. We're getting these people out of here. There's no... Uh-uh. No spamming in my chat. Not on my watch. Why, why did it all disappear, though, as soon as I went here?
Come on, show me everybody who's in chat right now. Dog on it. For some reason, it's not letting me ban those people in chat. I don't real. I'm still new to Twitch Auto Mod and all that. Whatever. Whatever. Why? Because that's because that piglet. Oh, it's Ryo! It's Be It's one of best girls. Ugh! The voice coming from behind me sends chills down my spine. Crap! That's the younger sister, right? Her name is Ryo. What about the older one? Are they both here? If that's the case, then Kapei is in pretty hot water. I gulp and I slowly turn around. Uh. Ryo! It's been so long! Well, I mean, you showed up for the baseball game for like two seconds. Th thank God she's by herself. I take a deep breath and I relax my shoulders. Oh, okay. We're dead. We are dead. The voice coming from slightly outside my field of vision causes my body to stiffen up. K Kyo? She's searching the surroundings of a puzzled look. Kapei is hidden from Kyo's view my, by my body, so thankfully she hasn't found out. Uh, hey, don't start talking! Uh, uh, Kimi... eh? Kapei, still holding Botan in his arms, walks up to her from behind me. Uh, Botan. Of course, noticing her pet in Kapei's arms, Kyo calls out to him. However, paying no attention to her, Kapei instead walks towards Fujibayashi very gently. Eh, eh, to... Wait, is Ryo handkerchief girl? <laughs> huh? Oh, I like the smile. Okay, so Kyo ran the guy over with his bike, and then Ryo, being the good person, <laughs> helped him out. Wait, but I thought Ryo always got to school before Kyo. Maybe that's a plot hole. Aww. Aww, I, I love that smile. Seeing how Kapei is talking to Fujibayashi, Kyo seems to be taken by surprise. Somebody you know? Yeah, Kyo, you know what you did. <laughs> hey. Oh, bullcrap. You ran over me several times on purpose during the, that route. Kyo says, and she quickly looks away. So what does this mean? Did Kyo hit Kapei at least twice? Wait, is this going to be a route where we set up Kapei with Ryo? <laughs> No, it's her twin sister, not really older. Don't thank her for running you over. Nah, I think you should have her apologize to you instead. <laughs> This is the person who ran you over. Were you not even listening? <laughs> I was staring into Ryo's eyes. <laughs> By the way, we first met after she hit you again. <laughs> yes, Ryo's... No, not Ryo. Kyo's getting... <laughs> getting her comeuppance. Oh, come on! Give Kyo her comeuppance! <laughs> Kapei says, and she looks at Fujibayashi and me. Okay, well, you know what? I can admire that. <laughs> Let's have Botan stew! Of course, even Kyo is taken aback by how Kapei acts. Dude, stop talking, stop talking! In a fluster, I pinion Kepe and muffle his mouth. <laughs> nah, nothing. Just a new game we're playing. <laughs> She's like, do you really think I'm that stupid? She's looking at us with pity in her eyes. 
th that aside, you were looking for Botan, no? Look, this guy found him for you. Ah, so so, Botan, yo, Botan. <laughs> Seems like he hit a wall or something and fainted. Hmm? What? Oh, you're giving it back to her? Yeah, that's right. You need to return him to his owner. Out of Kape's arms, I grasp Botan by his back and toss it at Kyo. Yeah, he's a plushie. Well, we found him safely. Don't sweat the small stuff. <laughs> that couldn't possibly happen, right? <laughs> As I continue to laugh in my dried out voice, Kape asks me very softly. <laughs> yes, you're smart. Yeah, if she finds out you were gonna make dinner out of him. Oh man, just thinking about it gives me the creeps. Uh, very. She literally is a demon. Instead of scary, I would say horrifying. Hmm? <laughs> it immediately cuts back to the gentle piano music. Uh, <laughs> and the street can of me interrupting Ryo continues. We're cutting her off, I guess. <laughs> Kyo's just like, are you kidding me? <laughs> what? <laughs> well, even if you ask me. Kyo steals a glance at me, clearly dumbfounded. Hmm? What is it? No, I like to well, actually, Ryo deserves someone better than Tomoya. <laughs> hmm? Yeah, that's right. Fujibayashi and Kape st uh, keep staring into each other's eyes. Wow, that happened real fast, didn't it? Twat, 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 twat. Not a twat. Side by side, I am walking next to Kyo. Our focus is just ahead of us. That's a pretty unexpected turn of events. While we continue to watch the backs of the two people walking just ahead of us, Kape and Fujibayashi, they're not actually dating again already, are they? <laughs> that, that, that seems a bit uh, bleh, unexpected and a little uh, out there. <laughs> One way or another, it feels as though the distance between them is gradually fading. I can't really tell. Aw, well that's cute. Guess the conversation's going smoothly. Hey, if if Ryok finds somebody that she can talk to easily, that's good for her. As she says that, Kyo steals a glance at me. What is it? <laughs> I, I wonder too. <laughs> right choice. She says with a sigh. <gasps> hmm? Whoa! They're holding hands! That what? <laughs> that was the fastest relationship I, I've ever seen! <laughs> what the heck? Fushibiyashi's unexpectedly bold. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> That seems completely unreasonable. <laughs> Kyo looks on as she moans hesitantly. That night... <laughs> 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 
Sonara says with unexpectedly serious eyes. Hmm. Well, do your best. I roll on the bed and respond uncaringly as I read a magazine. Well, it probably isn't something that concerns me anyway. Hmm, do your best. If you have something to say, then get it over with already. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. So what is it? Okay, now you're back, Chris. Good to have you. <laughs> I wish you good luck. Well, it felt like even if I listened, you would just say the same thing anyway, so I might as well say it first. About Kapei? <laughs> Sunohara's greatest enemy is reality. Since he managed to pique my interest, I sit up and look at Sunohara. What? That doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> oh? Okay, are, so you, do you just want him as a friend? If so, yeah, go for it. What the? What? The, what? You are actually crazy. Hmm? Well, good luck. Clatter. Oh, is he just staying here perpetually now? Hmm? Hmm? Welcome home. Wait, I'm home? <laughs> Does the school know about this? Something tells me the school wouldn't be too happy to learn that uh, a non-student is staying in these student dorms. <laughs> your true motive is written all over your face. So, it is a part of it, huh? <laughs> you don't think Masai cares, to be honest? I was more thinking, like, the principal and stuff. I'm sure Masai's just like, I don't have time for this, but... <laughs> Sorry, had a sneezing fit there for a second. Hmm? Yeah. For real? What the heck? What? <laughs> Kape and Ryo met. For like two seconds, left, met again, boom, started dating immediately. What? <laughs> it's Ryo! Man, she got over her crush on us real fast. <laughs> With his face slightly blushing, Kape smiles. Well, that came out of nowhere. No, yeah, you kind of do. <laughs> Is that so? I glance at Tsunohara. Dumbfounded, he's staring blankly into thin air. His mouth is half, half open. Guess you're out of luck. I lightly tap his shoulder and say, <laughs> It sort of got spoiled uh, to me, and the Kyoru Kyo says that she met someone. She met someone at the nursing place that she was working at. Kape is jobless, and there ain't no way he can get a job at, at, a, at like, a hospital. <sighs> Sunohara cries as he runs out of the room in tears. <laughs> He's probably just hungry. <laughs> Seriously. Also, I thought that Kyo was just saying that Ryo met someone because she wanted to see if we were jealous. Uh, yeah, I've had dinner. Oh, that's the place that Ryo took us! Yeah, to celebrate that you got a girlfriend. Let me treat you. Oh, 
Aww, that's Why really I... nice. Wouldn't he be a good match for Ryo, though? Uh, I don't really think so, no. <laughs> He's really weird, and Ryo is one of the most normal girls. <laughs> then again, I mean, I guess they could be a good match. I haven't really seen them talk together, though. Sure. Oh, this is really nice. That's quite a lot to eat when you order it together with fried rice. Ryo is kind of a dimwit, too? No, she's not! I mean, she's obsessed with fortune-telling, and she's kind of weird about that, but she's a really smart girl. That's still pretty affordable, though. Come on, that's pretty cheap. Ippai no Kakisoba. Ippai no Kakisoba is a 1989 short story which was later adapted into a film, allegedly based on true events about a disadvantaged single mother family with two children going to a soboya on New Year's Eve for a single serving of soba. I don't understand half of those words. <laughs> you learn about so many stories from Kipe, that's true. To say that, he doesn't seem to have any reserve. Also, it occurs to me, um, Kipe was the one person that they didn't put in the anime, because presumably his route was harder to adapt. If the main... If the anime does the Nagisa route as the main route, couldn't it, they easily have put him in and be like, oh yeah, he's, he's dating Ryo. I feel like they could have added him in. Mm -hmm. There was nowhere to put him? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, you're right. At the very least, it's not something I can experience with my family. It's more complicated, you actually read it about it somewhere. Hmm. Also, this guy's gotta be the smoothest guy in the world. Well, actually, I guess to Tomoya and Ryo ended up together pretty quickly. Unless you count like, oh, well, we, we knew each other in the previous year. But, like, they didn't really start interacting until this year, and then, like, a few days later, they started dating. Maybe Ro just moves fast. <laughs> you still need to establish the character and give him some air time, yada yada. Yeah, fair. That's fair. They could have made it just like he's walking to school one day, boom, Kyo runs him over with the motorcycle, though. Please don't look at me. I agree with you, Ryo is one of my favorites. Ah, well, you two are a fit for each other. Yeah, good for her. Hmm. Don't use the word super that way. That is true, yes. Good, good on you, Kai. That reminds me, why did you come to this town? That's not what I meant. You're looking for something? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> you are asking the wrong person, Kape. Huh? This town is? Hmm. Kapei is a nice foil to Tomoya, because Tomoya's like, I hate this town, it's terrible, and then Kapei's like, no, this town has a lot to offer. 
But pretty much everyone in this town seems to be pretty nice. I mean, I get Tomoya's dad is not the best, but I think I want to know more about Tomoya and his dad because there's so much there that I don't know about. You think at this part you started to like the root? It's so enlightening to Tomoya. Yeah. <laughs> I don't get it either. とにかくさ、いい町なんだよ。でもそれは多分ここに住んでる人たちのことだと思うんだ。友也くんみたいな人たちがたくさんいるしさ。There are many people like me. Wouldn't that make this a rather shady town? 僕好きなんだ。不器用な素直さってさ。Awkwardly honest, did you see me messing with Sunohara? You're weird, you know. But, well, I think I get what you're trying to say. Whether you said actually holds true for me or not is a separate matter, though. I don't really think that's a compliment. That's true. Don't go trusting somebody you just met. Is that so? It feels like that when I talk to you, everything in the world seems more beautiful. So? Yeah, the way you express yourself, even the dirtiest things sound beautiful. It feels like Kind of like you understand very well how life works. Yeah, it's true. He, like, even when he talks about something as simple as, like, a pizza delivery guy job, he makes it sound great. <laughs> <laughs> what you like about him is appreciation for something that Tomia always had from the start. Yeah, this, this route definitely surprised me. I don't know if we're at the very end of it or not, but don't make yourself sound like such an old man. とりあえず、友也くんよりは長く生きてるよ。え?友也くんって学生さんだから、まだ18歳よ。いや、ですか、オルダーです。That's <笑> You're kind of sad he wasn't in the anime. I feel like they could have put him in. Again, haven't seen the anime, don't know what it's like. I feel like if they wanted to, they could have put him in. But if they had to cut one person, I can see why they cut Kape. Yeah, I guess. Sorry, though. I've been rude this entire time. I see. Well, the age gap isn't that big. Like, Ryo is presumably 18. That's like a one-year gap. That's not bad at all. <laughs> Do we get to see them talking to each other, though? Other than, like, that one part? I see. Seeing how Kape is happily looking up at the sky, I can do nothing but sigh. Is it the rugby club? Whoa! What's wrong? I thought we were at the ramen place. You bonehead. Well, you do have important stuff in it, no? Then hurry up and go get it. I don't think anyone's going to steal it, but just be on the safe side. Kape nods and immediately dashes away. In no time, he has already run very far. Whoa! He's fast! You wouldn't expect from him with the way he looks. No, he's like always wearing like a athletic jacket. I feel like he could be very fast. So, yeah, I thought we would just we got, I thought it was kind of like a stand. We got the stuff from the stand and then we sat at like a table right next to the stand. I, I guess not. You run out of breath pretty quickly too. Not even 200 meters away, he's leaning against the telephone pole and hanging his head down. <laughs> He's like me. He needs to work on his stamina. That place you were holding is your knees.
It's because you were running right after dinner. Yeah, I will. Saying that, Kabe slides down and sits on the ground. Are you okay? Yeah. I turn away from the exhausted Kabe and start walking toward the ramen restaurant. The bag is right next to our seats where our feet were. I take the bag and I put it over my shoulders. Scatter. Huh? It seems the bag was open, causing its contents to spill out. Crap. In a panic, I start picking the things up. There's a towel, a map, a, a compass. There's also a toothbrush, a mug, even canned food and underwear. He seriously has everything he needs day to day stuffed into this bag. Yeah, he's a traveler, hmm? I spot something that looks vaguely familiar. A sheet of pills? Is it medicine? I guess it's rude of me to look at Ever's veins. I stuff the veins back into the bag and then leave the store to return to where Kape is. Uh, hey, sorry to keep you waiting. Here. Your side still hurts? Don't answer with a question. He says, and then he starts fishing in his bag. What's wrong? Your medicine? I wonder if he means that sheet of pills I saw just now. What kind of medicine? That's kind of a personal question. Kepei says, and then he takes out the sheet of pills from his bag. I can't really say I agree with that. He smiles and then he brings the pills in his hand to his mouth. He then swallows them without any water. Dane, do you always do that? I mean, taking medicine like that, wouldn't you normally need water? Is that so? I see. Well, let's go back. We head for Sunahara's room where Kape is staying tonight. Hmm? <laughs> wow, you just you're you're going real fast. <laughs> He's the smoothest operator ever, apparently. He just gets with the girl way faster than the main character does. <laughs> 